Hi. Uh, I'd like to show you an interesting uh, circuit that I did. Basically, we have a transformer here of uh, 220 volts to 12 volts, more or less, you see. And uh, we have a circuit, the circuit. We have two batteries of 3.7 volts. And we have a battery that is around almost 20 ampere hour. It's 18 ampere hour, as you see. I did charge and discharge it so many times, and now I charge it again. It's full, but we will try to charge a little bit more just to show you the concept. And I don't have to tell you what can you do with this battery. You can run a new big inverter to one device at home. Let me show you if it's working again. Let me see. So look, look. We are putting now the <coughs> circuit. It will be stabilized alone, you will see. And it's working by pools, you understand? It's working by pools. The contact is here, okay. Okay, look at the number. And then we are going to connect it to the load to an inverter as well. Let's see the charge. Look at the number. We are going up. We are charging the big battery from this tiny battery that has some 3000 milliampere. But still, we are talking about 300% or 500% more. And look. So it's unbelievable. I charge it and really it's interesting. You see? So as well, it's acting like a DC converter, a charger, as well an inverter. Okay. It's very interesting. Look again. You see. So this bulb is only maybe four or five watts, you understand? But this battery, it's already serious. You see, we are going to put the inverter. on the battery while charging. And then we are going to see, look, you see? So the concept is that you can charge from a, a tiny battery, a huge battery, and then to use the inverter for a device, you understand? I will try to give some uh, details uh, in the explanation, some in the video. Uh, we did charge a battery again because we used the inverter and i like you to see how it's coming back with the charge slowly slowly to put the battery back on this feet as it was in the beginning. From the tiny battery to charge the huge battery like that comparing to this one and look how it's charging that back after we use the load and uh, discharge the battery a bit. It's very, very interesting. Look at the numbers. And it will go up and reach 13.6, 13.10 and so on. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it's a very interesting concept and the circuit can be done bigger and uh, maybe to get more load from a bigger inverter too with more batteries. As you see, we are still charging. We, we are waiting. I don't want to waste your time too much. 
but as you see, look at the number, and it's still charging the <laughs> the battery to the to, to really to full. Let's wait a bit just to see if it's going to 13. And uh, you can make a lot of things of the, with that because if you put two three system of that and four battery like that, you can run <laughs> a small house, small tiny house, or a small living room. And the inverter can be half a kilowatt, one kilowatt. You just leave it during the day. And from the bank of the battery, you are charging, of course, back the two small batteries here with a resistor or a potentiometer. But a resistor, a big resistor of uh, 20 watts will be enough. It's going slowly, but it goes surely. Look at the number. It's unbelievable, really. Very good.